The other day, I was walking along the beach. The surf was bashing against the sand, mixing it into a blurry golden mess. As I observed this, I realised that neither sand or sea was afraid of the merging with the other, or of momentarily losing its individuality. It was just part of the process, felt without any holding back or denial. Watching the surf became a lesson in saying yes to process. Just as I was musing on the idea of saying yes to life, it occurred to me that some people seem to be able to stand at the buffet table of life and do just the same. They seem to have the gift of surveying the feast in front of them and tucking in with relish. They never seem to say, oh, I'm on a diet, I can't possibly eat that. They throw themselves into the feast of life and the experience and accept everything that comes along. These are the people who seem to have a zest for life and a genuine passion for being here and experiencing all that life has to offer. They seem to be physically, emotionally and spiritually full people, rounded in every aspect from the outside to the inside. They seem to have grasped the concept of saying yes and that this gives spiritual and earthbound fulfilment on a deep and lasting level. I remember watching one of my friends walk into playgroup. She moved into the room laughing, her son balanced on her hip. She was saying with her broad Texan brawl, now I know why God gave me a big butt. I need it to push my way through doors and to carry my boy around. She was at ease with herself, with her lot in life and her big butt and embraced it all with grace and humour. She was a joy to observe, and I knew she was spiritually full. She wasn't on a soul diet. She was saying yes to it all. How can it be that some people seem not to need to diet, can tuck into everything with delight and enthusiasm, and never get spiritually fat? On the other hand, there are people who seem to stand at the table of life and stay nibbling at the salad, saying, I couldn't possibly eat another thing. They may long to eat chocolate and fill themselves with pleasure, yet they dare not and remain hungrily gnawing away on a carrot stick while enviously watching the people enjoying themselves at the dessert buffet. Are we really meant to be on a soul diet? Are we meant to be denying ourselves the chances that life puts in front of us? Are we meant to be saying no to life? Surely it's better to be in flow, follow our sole purpose and find our bliss. Imagine being able to do what we love whilst getting sustenance on every level and literally feeding the soul as well as the mind and the body. Isn't that the point of saying yes to life? Maybe it's a question of a shift in perception. Perhaps we need to see that there's so much out there for all of us that we don't need to be stingy with ourselves. How about throwing away the spiritual carrot sticks and getting stuck into life and saying yes once in a while?